Hi everyone. Today I want to share with you a couple of things or three things that confirm that my doe is in heat. I have a Nigerian dwarf and her name is Annabelle right now, the one that she's in heat and I'm going to demonstrate how I can tell that she's in heat. Um, everyone is inside and they're eating and they're doing their own thing and she is by, I'll show you, that's where she is, right there. So the number one sign to know for me that one of them is in heat is because they get close to the fence and the boys are right here, you know, they still have room in between but she'll start to be loud. Um, no matter which doe, they all do this. They get loud all of a sudden. And if you know your goats, you know what is loud and what is normal. So I guess it takes a little bit of getting to know your does before you can decide is she being loud or is she this normally loud. But Annabelle is loud when she's mad and she is a loud goat overall, but she's, she's never this loud. She's been screaming like this since she got up in the morning. So number one, they become super loud. Number two, they squat to pee and they pee, then they squat again and nothing comes out, and then they squat again and nothing comes out. Every single one of my does does this when they are in heat. And number three, and this is kind of a, the foolproof way to know if your doe is in heat, is if you have a buck. You go and pet them or you grab, if you don't want to pet them, you can grab a rag and rub it wherever they pee themselves, especially on the head. That's where mine pees the most. But you know what they look like when they pee all over themselves. So you just grab that and you show it to the doe and you'll see what happens. Come here, rocks. Come here, rocks. Let me pet your head. If I can stick my head over here. Come here, rocks. Not you, not you, baby. Rock. Come here, Rock. <laughs> he doesn't want me to pet his head. And this is what stinks the most. Come on. So basically, I just try to get his scent. That's not too much. But you can see that she's screaming over there. But it's a good indication that she's in heat and look what she does when she smells the boy she starts wagging her tail that's how I know she's in heat she's really interested in that buck scent now I can see why they pee all over themselves and look at her she's like so calm now you you want a boy in your life don't you there's a one more time, that's it. You can smell that boy one more time, okay? She's like, okay. <laughs> yeah, those boys, they think. Oh, you love it, mama. Oh, mommy, it's gonna go away, okay? It's just a couple of days. Don't be mean to your nieces. You too? No, you're not in heat, look. Look. No flagging. She's not in heat. <laughs> and not interested. Hi, my sweet, sweet Brie. One day you're gonna have a boyfriend. Hello. My possible bread mama. Yeah. You want a boy? Let me see. You want that boy? She's like, nope. I'm done with him. He did the deed. We make children. It's okay, Annie. It's normal. You're gonna be fine, okay, mommy? I know. You feel weird. I'm so sorry. I wish I could be here petting you all day, but I have to go cook, okay? 
You don't miss your boy. You just want Rocky. Oh, that stinks. Literally. Okay. You can be loud, but just for today. Okay, mommy? <sighs> for whatever reason, my dolls get all super snuggly when they're in heat. They just want all the pets. Now, are there other signs? Yes, there's a lot more signs. Like, for me right now, I noticed that something was up. Because Annabelle, uh, she stopped producing what she was producing every morning. I just, I am milking them only in the morning. Just because of time problems in the afternoons and schedules so I only milk them in the morning but I know exactly how much she gives me every morning and the last two days yesterday was a little bit less and today it's a lot less so I noticed that something was up and another sign is a white discharge not yellow because you, you can confuse it with pee but it's not pee it's very white and it's like a mucus kind of um substance those are the signs that's what i see and again if you don't see them and you work full time and you're not at home most of the time don't feel bad um there are subtle differences and things that you notice in them and you just have to know your goals uh and their personalities and the way that they behave every day to actually notice the differences um between one and the other no heat is the same like annabelle gets super mean she buttheads everyone her sister mocha it's completely the you know the opposite she kind of hides and is sad and she wants to be petted and she's like very sensitive and if you know the girls are being rough as they're trying to nurse i mean she's a drama queen annabelle she gets that fighter mode and she just goes for it so clara is a little bit more tricky she is loud but you have to notice it the first day if you don't then you could miss her unless you're checking to make sure if she does have any kind of uh discharge but yeah they're all different so don't feel bad if you miss it so I hope that this was helpful in this breeding season 2021 or fall 2021. If you want to see how my girls deliver their babies this August, I'm going to have a couple of videos that are going to pop up at the end of this one. You can see their deliveries and how tough uh, the first babies were and all that if you're into that kind of thing, of course. So I'll talk to you guys next time.